How is Prophet and he eating like us and he goes to the market, he needs what he needs, he this, this, that. They don't believe that he can be Prophet and eating like them. And in another ayah, Allah said, when they ask Allah to swear, Allah don't send angels to them. Allah said, وَلَوْ جَعَلْنَاهُ مُلَكُمْ لَجَعَلْنَاهُ رَجُلًا وَلَا لَبَسْنَا عَلَيْهِ مَا يَلْبِسُ Even if we send angels to you, we make him with the form like human being. He will act like human being. So from that, I also, Sheikh Ibrahim said, we have to be careful with people. Because you can't meet your brother, maybe he's your brother, the same person you know, but maybe he's an angel. Mm. You can't meet an angel and think he's, he's somebody. Because it's possible for us to meet angel. According to the hadith that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when Abu Hanzala, when he came to Sayyidina Abu Bakr and said, Nafaq Hanzala, he said, Hanzala is hypocrite. Sayyidina Abu Bakr asked him, why you say that you hypocrite? He said, because I realize whenever we go around Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he reminds us the last day and Jannah and Hellfire, all these things, we got to the point that we look like we're facing this reality. We see it. We believe it. We're facing it. But whenever we go back to our family, our business, <coughs> we do that. Say now, look at say that is not only you. Let's go together to Prophet. And when they come to Prophet, like when he asked them, Hamzala, he repeated the same thing. He said, he's a hypocrite. <laughs> Prophet said, why you say that? Because I realize when we say, say among you, this in front of you, you remind us, we go to the point that we facing we look alike that we face that you know reality. But whenever we go we forget. Prophet says Allah If you able to stay in the situation the the hard is having when you around me and with zikr all the time, even the angel they meet you and they greet you in your 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 root or your in your bed. Mm. But sa'atan fasa, sa'atan fasa. So that's mean it's able 
it's, it's possible to see angels. Mm. So what we have to know that if you want to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your time is your day to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. We have to believe all the good things. We have to learn also from great people that Allah ever bring to, to this life and follow they way. You know, uh, Sheikh, he said, the history is his soldier, is among Allah's soldiers that Allah help, uh, used to help people. You know, al hikaye jundum min junudillah. So if you learn from somebody history, you can learn many things about it. Because now the history of the Sheikh know the history of great people of course if it's your chef also is be more beneficial you have to know them you have to love them the more you know them the more you love them because sometimes you see people who do, doesn't know them and it, all bad things they can say about them nobody can say from that because they say bad things even about prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but that is ignorance so the more you know, the more you benefit from it. But know that your time is the time that you can benefit from it. Mm. Yes. This is your time. The time you're living is your time. Mm. This moment you're living is your life. Mm. Mm. This moment. Don't say this tomorrow or after two, after that. Remember that the time you're living, that is your life. Mm. So no way you can benefit from anything that is not now. Mm. The Sawuf, the they, they say, a Sufi ibn Wakti. Mm -hmm. They say Sufi is the son of his time. To be the son of your time, anytime you do what is more beneficial for you in that particular time, and what is more important, the time of Salat is more important for you to do any other thing, any other business, you have to do your Salat before you do that. Mm -hmm. The time of learning, you have to learn. If you need to rest, you have to rest. Because you don't sleep just for sleeping. You sleep to wake up, to have more power, to worship Allah. That is part of ibadah. Mm -hmm. And you have near for that. But your time is your life. Of course, with Allah blessing, the believer can benefit from two things. That is not his time now. Allah give you tawbah. Mm -hmm. You can use it. To change the, your life before it pass. Mm -hmm. Only Tawbah can work for something to pass. Mm. But only near can work for something coming. But without that, your time is now. It's now. So we have to work uh, now and believe that Allah is still here and the, the Barak is still here. Sheikh Ibrahim in his Tawassul, Rabbal Ibadi. He asked Allah, Nalun Muna Mankat Atani Awalan Ya Akhiran Ya Akhiran Ya Awal. He said, Those who came to me in the beginning, they achieved their glory. Those who are coming behind them, they will they achieve it. He didn't say even they will achieve. He said, Nalan Muna, they achieve it already. <laughs> because he showed that they're gonna have it. Allah Akbar. So Allah. the way this is the way the big followers of them. This is the way they follow to get to what they have. So if you follow it, of course you will reach. Sheikh mm -hmm. said one of one of big man, he wake up in the night time and cry. And his young son asked him, What do you cry, my son? He said, Because the big people they wake up early morning and they they ride horses and I wake up very late, and I don't have a horse. I want to walk with my foot and want to reach them. He said, you don't need to cry. All what you need is to follow. Take the same way and follow them. You reach them before they, they, have, they get to the end, or if they get to the end, you reach them at the end. <coughs> so what we have to do is walk. What we have to do is walk. You know, the way is very clear. 
the way is very clear. And Allah is very generous. Allah will never let you stay knocking the door without opening it. Mm. If Allah, if Allah help you to knock the door, that means Allah is ready to open for you. <laughs> yeah, even the people, if you ask them for, you want to meet them, appointment, they know what you're looking for and they give you appointment, they're ready to listen to you and do for it, for you. Some generous people, you come to them, you know what you're looking for them, from them, if they have it, they give you appointment, finish. I heard some people say, such and such, if you call him, it's not easy to get him. But if you get him, he will give you what you need. <laughs> Allah is more generous than those people. <laughs> Sheikh Ibrahim said, you think about Musa alayhi salam. Musa, he had the highest tell him, Ya Musa, innani an Allah. He said, Musa, he went out to look for fire, just to warm himself and his family. But he, 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 he found Allah. He said, think about somebody God's looking for fire and found Allah. So if you look for Allah, you will find Allah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All what we need is sincerity. All what we need is uh, iman. All what we need is <coughs> work. So we congratulate you to have a group like this, to mention Allah, to make a zikr. And I know this uh, Quran must have been reading for uh, Hassan. All this is good things because you do it for the sake of Allah and you give somebody, Allah will multiply it and give it back to you. Mm -hmm. This is the benefits of, you know, making dua for you, Sheikh. So Ibrahim Jum, he said, he asked Sheikh Ibrahim, what is the benefit of Murid make some dua and give to his Sheikh? He said, it's like some you know, buddy is a poor man, he come to a rich man and give him some money, he will double it and give it back to him. He say, Allah will double it and give it back to him. And that is easy for you to understand because it's not only even share. If, if, you, if you pray for ordinary people, ordinary person, Allah will answer it. Mm -hmm. And give back to you. Because Prophet said, ask Allah from the tongue that you never make sin from. Mm -hmm. So how you ask Allah from the tongue you never make sin from is to pray for us, your brother. If you pray for your brother, that he asking Allah from the tongue, he may have never make sin on. Mm -hmm. So Allah will accept that for him. Amen. But the angel will tell you, well, like the Muslims are, mm -hmm. you have the same. Mm -hmm. So Amen. make sure you pray yes. for your chef. Make sure you pray for your brother. Make sure you pray for your family. Make sure you pray for yourself. Because Allah has some time that he doesn't, doesn't care. Whatever you ask, he will get you. Shaykh mm. Malizian said, some way of asrar, khawas, is not easy to use. Because you need time, you need this, you need that. But if you're asking Allah, some of the time, whatever you ask, no matter how you are, Allah will, 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 will help you and Allah will answer your prayer. So pray and make sure Allah will answer. And thank you very much. May Allah bless you. May Allah guide you. Amen. 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 Fool your heart with life. Amen. May Allah make this life easy for you. Amen. May Allah fool your heart with riches, but fool the heart with the iman. Amen. Amen. That we, we can use all our belonging for Allah Amen. Amen. Allah, if Allah, if the heart is okay, anything come after that will be good. Mm -hmm. If the knowledge come, will be good. If the riches come, will do good. If health come, will do good. Anything Allah give you, you you will benefit from it, and you will benefit other. So benefiting other, that is the the the, the real, the strongest believer. There are those who work to benefit others. Because to benefit yourself is very easy. But